Thank you, your honor. Mr. Davy, you met the gentleman who identified himself as Vinny Amen, didn't you? Yes. And you expressed surprise at how young he seemed to be, right? I believe so. And you described him as businesslike, real cooperative and wearing dressy casual clothes, right? Right. I have no further questions, your honor. Counsel? No questions. All right, thank you. You may step down. Call your next witness. Janet Williams. Come to the front of the courtroom, please. When you get to the witness stand, please remain standing. Face the clerk and raise your right hand. I do. Please be seated. State and spell your name for the record. Janet Williams. J-A-N-E-T. W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. Thank you. Ms. Williams, you're now retired, is that correct? I am. And before your retirement where did you work? I worked for Santa Barbara County Sheriff. And how long had you worked for them? A little over 29 years. I think the bailiff's about to tell you to scoot into that microphone. In case we missed it, how many years? 29 years. And at the time of your retirement, what was your assignment? I was working investigations at Coastal Station, which is located in Carpinteria. And how long had you been at that particular assignment? 10 years. And prior to that, where were you assigned? I was assigned to the main station in Goleta. In what capacity was that? Jail, patrol, investigations, variety of assignments. All right. Now, prior to the time that you retired in November, the 18th of 2003, were you assigned to participate in the execution of a search warrant at Neverland Valley Ranch? Yes. And during the course of your responsibilities on that particular day, did you, were you responsible for seizing certain items of evidence? Yes. And in particular, were you at one point in time assigned to search the downstairs area of Mr. Jackson's bedroom suite? Yes. And in that area, did you find some items that you seized? Yes. And could you just generally describe the area that you took these items from? The area appeared to be similar to a sitting room. It had a piano, large screen televisions and chairs, and some books. Fireplace. That kind of area. All right. I'm going to show you a photograph. Counsel, it's 90 and it's in evidence. What number? 9, 9 to 0. That's fine. Thank you. Now, with regard to the exhibit that I placed in front of you, which is a photograph, which is People's 90 which is in evidence, do you recognize the area that's depicted in that photograph? Yes, I do. When and where was the first time that you saw, or were in that particular location? It would have been the day of the search. And do you see depicted in the photograph, People's 90, the area from which you obtained some items that you seized and then had booked into evidence? Yes. And I gave you a red pen. Would you put an arrow to the area where you obtained the items from? An arrow on the photograph? Yes. Yes. Mark on the photograph. Now, in that photograph, let me get the photograph for just a second. I was looking for the laser. Oh, here's the laser. Gordon, your honor, could we have the input, I think four? Input four. All right. Ms. Williams, with regard to the photograph that we have on the board, which is People's 90 in evidence, can you point out to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury the arrow that you placed on that exhibit? Use the laser, if you would. I think you might be pointing it the wrong way. Could be. Oh, found the right button, sorry. All right, so it's the one that comes down on the right-hand side of the photograph. And below that, directly below that are a number of boxes and books, is that correct? Yes. Is that the area from which you seized certain items? Yes. Okay. In this particular room, well, that's okay. I'll do it another way. I think we can have the lights for right now, your honor. Off the record discussion held at council table. All right. Go ahead. All right. I'm handing you a bag, a plastic bag that has the number 590 on it, 590 marked for identification purposes. And inside the bag are four books that have been marked 59A, SICK, B, C and D so I'm going to ask you some questions about these, okay? Yes. 
Now, with regard to 590A, do you recognize that book? Yes. And where was the book the first time that you saw it? The book was inside one of the boxes that was, that I depicted by the arrow. Now, there are a number of boxes there. Do you recall which one of the boxes that 59A, sick, came out of? I do not. But it was from one of those boxes? Yes. Okay. Now, is that book in the same condition as when you seized it on that particular day? It appears to be. All right. Now, let's go to 59B, 590B. Okay. Do you recognize that exhibit? Yes. And when and where was that the first time you saw it? Inside one of the boxes from the same area. And do you remember what specific box it was in? I do not. Do you recall whether it was with the exhibit 59, 590A? I do not. All right, let's go to the next one then, 590C. Do you recognize that? Yes. And where was that book the first time you saw it? In one of the boxes from the same area. Is that the same condition as when you first saw it? It appears to be. All right, and then let's go to 590D, like in, David. All right. Do you recognize that book? Yes. Is that one of the books you seized? Yes. From the same area? Same area, yes. And do you recall whether it was with the other, any of the other books, A, B or C? I don't remember. With regard to that book, does it appear to be in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. All right. Your Honor, I move that 590A through D be admitted into evidence. Submit it. They're admitted. I'm going to display these, Your Honor. 590A, now, this particular book is titled, Bob and Rob. After you took it out of one of those boxes that are depicted in the photograph, People's 90, what did you do with this particular book? I took it to the area where Detective Padilla was preparing the documents showing the items that were being seized. He was designated as what we call, the scribe. Yes. What you call, the scribe? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's put up 590B. With regard to this particular exhibit, before the hand of man, what did you do with that after you seized it? The same procedure, I took it over to Detective Padilla for scribing in. Okay. 590C. This is a book called, Room to Play. And you obtained that from the same areas, correct? Yes. And what did you do with it after you obtained it? I took it to Detective Padilla. All right. And lastly, 590D. That was also found in those boxes? Yes. And you also took that to the detective? Yes, I did. All right. Thank you. Lights are fine. Off the record discussion held at council table. Your Honor, I've handed counsel for his examination a clear plastic bag which has inside of it a white binder. This exhibit has been marked as 591 for identification purposes. I'm going to ask you to look at 591. Now, yesterday, I asked you to take a look at that exhibit, correct? Yes. And you did take a look at that exhibit, correct? Yes. And inside of the exhibit 591, which has the white binder, there are two items, two magazines, correct? Yes. Are those magazines that you seized on November 18th? Yes. From where? From the same area as the books that we've previously discussed. The books in 590? Yes. And with regard to the two exhibits that, the two magazines that are inside the exhibit 591, are they in the same condition now as when you first viewed them? No. In what respect are they different? They've been disassembled. They were intact at the time that I seized them. But they are the same two magazines that you took? Yes. All right. Move that 591 be admitted into evidence, Your Honor. I will submit it, Your Honor. It's admitted. Off the record discussion held at council table. Your Honor, I have a clear plastic bag which has on the outside of it, exhibit number 834. That's on the outside of the bag. And from inside the bag there are four magazines that have been marked consecutively as 592, 593, 594 and 595. And I've shown them to counsel for his examination. And I'm going to approach the witness. Yes. 
First of all, there's the bag that's marked as 834, and the four magazines, 592 through 595. Do you recognize those? Yes. And those were also exhibits that I had you look at yesterday, is that correct? Yes. And you've had a chance to go through them, is that correct? Yes. And with regard, let's take them one at a time. 592, where was it the first time that you saw it? It was inside one of the boxes that I labeled on the photograph. Now, the title of these magazines, or this magazine is? This is The Nudist. All right, and they must be from a long time ago because they're 15 cents. It says, March 1935. All right, now, do you remember where in those boxes that you found the exhibit 592? No. Which one of the boxes? No, I do not. Let's go to 593. Do you recognize that? Yes. Is that another one of the magazines that you took out of those boxes? Yes. And are 592 and 593 in the same condition as when you first saw them? Seems to be, yes. And this one's called, Sunbather, is that correct? Correct. Let's go to 594. That's also a nudist. The title is, The Nudist, correct? Yes, it is. Where did you find that particular item? In one of the boxes. All right. And then let's, I mean, is it in the same condition as when you found it? Yes. And 595? It's another of, The Nudist, correct? Yes, it is. Is that in the same condition as when you saw it? Yes. And where did you see it first? One of the boxes. Now, with regards to the exhibit 592, 593, 594 and 595 OK. Can you tell us whether those exhibits were all together in the same box or in different boxes? Do you have a recollection about that? I don't remember. Now, with regard to those exhibits, 592, 3, 4 and 5, what did you do with them after you seized them from the box or boxes that you found them? I took them to Detective Padilla for scribing and booking. Your Honor, I'd move that 592 through 595 be admitted into evidence, as well as the bag that contains it, which is 834. I'll submit it. They're admitted. Miss Williams. I'm now asking you to look at three books, and the first one is numbered 596, 597, and I believe 599. Would you take a look at those for me, if you would? Do you recognize those exhibits? Yes, I do. Counsel, you didn't show me those, I don't think. I apologize. I was trying to be too efficient. All right, let's start with 596, Man, a Sexual Study of Man. Where was that the first time you saw it? This was inside one of the boxes. And the same location as the other item? Yes. All right. And is it in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. All right. And the next one, 597, the golden age of neglect. Do you recognize that? I do. Is that one of the items that you seized? Yes. Where was it when you saw it the first time? This was also inside one of the boxes. And do you recall whether it was in the same box as any of the other items that you previously identified? I don't remember. Okay. And with regard to 599, do you recognize that? Yes. And where was that the first time you saw it? Inside one of the boxes. And the same area? Yes. The boxes that you've previously talked about? Yes. Is that in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. All right, Your Honor, I move that 596, 97 and 99 be admitted into evidence. Submit it, Your Honor. They're admitted, all three. All right, we need the lights out again and input four again. 596 is the book, Man, A Sexual Study of Man. Now, with regard to that particular book, after you seized it, what did you do with it? I took it over to Detective Padilla to have it scribed and booked into evidence. All right. And 597, do you recognize that? Yes. Okay. And with regard to that particular item, what did you do with it after you seized it? I took it to Detective Padilla for scribing and booking into evidence. All right. 
And the last item, which is 599, did you follow the same procedure with regard to that particular book? Yes, I did. All right, thank you. You can turn the lights on. Thank you. Off the record discussion held at council table. Your Honor, I have a bag that's been marked as People's 835 for identification purposes. And inside of the bag are Exhibits 598 and then Exhibit 600 consecutively through 613. So it's 598 and then 600 through 613. And I've shown them to counsel. And may I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes. All right. Ms. Williams, I'm showing you the exhibit that's been marked. It's a plastic bag, 835. You see that? Yes. And then I took out, from 835, I took 598 and then 600 through 613. Now, did I ask you yesterday to look at all of those magazines contained in there? Yes, you did. And do you recognize those magazines? Let's just do 598 first. Do you recognize 598? Yes. Where was 598 the first time that you saw it? It was in one of the boxes that I mentioned earlier. And the title of the magazine? The Nudist. All right, so why don't we take five, is it in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. Let's put that one aside. Now, with regard to 600 through 613, were you asked to look through those magazines? Yes, I was. And those magazines are basically the same magazines, the nudist, and then there's a few other different ones in there. Yes. And were those all magazines that you found in the downstairs area of Mr. Jackson's bedroom? Yes. And where in that area? Within the boxes earlier mentioned. Okay. And were those also items that you gave to Detective Padilla to be scribed and booked into evidence? Yes. And are the ones that you looked at and the ones I'm talking about now, 600 through 613, are they in the same condition as when you first saw them on the 18th of November, 2003? Yes. All right, let's put those back in here. And I move that 598 and 600 through 613 be admitted into evidence, Your Honor. I will submit it. They're admitted. Off the record discussion held at council table. Your Honor, I have a brown paper bag with a sheriff's evidence booking tag on the front of it, and I've had affixed to it the exhibit number 836 to the brown bag. And contained inside of the brown bag are exhibits 614, 615, 616, 617, 618 and 619 for identification purposes. And I've shown them to counsel and he's examined them, your honor. And I'd like to approach again. All right. These exhibits I've handed you came from the bag marked exhibit 836, okay? And again, yesterday, I had you examine the items that came out of that bag. Item 836, correct? Yes. And those bags, actually, those items have been chemically treated, correct? Yes. With regard to the first exhibit, 614, it's a binder. And did you have an opportunity to examine that item yesterday? Yes. And inside of that binder, 614, did you recognize the item inside? Yes. And what was that? It was a magazine. And was it the same type of variety of the others that you've identified? Yes. At the time that you saw it yesterday, was it in a different format as when you first saw it? Yes. How is it different now than when you first saw it? It is, has now been disassembled and chemically treated. Other than that, are the contents of the binder, the white binder that's been marked as 614, the same as the magazine that you picked up on November 18th? It appears to be, yes. Put that aside, and let's just go to 615, if we could. And 615, inside the plastic bag, do you? I had you examine that item yesterday, too, correct? Yes. And what is the title of that document? Here, let me. I got my hands dirty. I'll do it. It is, the nudist. So these are the like kind of magazine that we've previously, you've previously identified? Yes. And other than having been chemically treated and disassembled, is the Exhibit 615 the same exhibit that you seized from Mr. Jackson's bedroom? Yes. All right, let's go to 616. Do you recognize that? You were asked to look at it yesterday, correct? Yes. And it's the same type of magazine, Sunshine and Health, 
the nudist, as 615 is, correct? Yes, it is. Other than being chemically treated and disassembled, is it in the same condition as when you first saw it in Mr. Jackson's bedroom? Yes. Now, these items, 614, 615 and 616, where were they found? They were found in the boxes that I've mentioned earlier. Okay. Do you remember whether they were found in the same boxes with the other items or in different boxes? I don't remember. Okay. Go ahead and put that up there. And let's go to 617. Do you recognize that? Yes, I do. And that's another magazine of the same brand, correct? Yes, it is. Same title? Yes. And it has also been chemically treated, correct? Yes. And disassembled? Yes. Have you had the opportunity to examine the contents of that yesterday? Yes. And is that also a magazine that you obtained from Mr. Jackson's bedroom? Yes. And from the same area that you previously told the jury? Yes. Put that up there. Is it in the same condition, other than the chemical treatment and it's disassembled, as when you first saw it? Yes. All right. The next item is 618. Do you recognize that? Yes. And where was that the first time you saw it? Within one of the boxes from the same area. And with regard to that exhibit, what's different about it now than when you first saw it? And by, that exhibit, I mean 618. This one has also been chemically treated and disassembled. Other than that, it's the same? Yes. All right, would you put that up on top? And let's go to 619. Do you recognize 619 for identification purposes? Yes. And where was that the first time that you saw it? From within one of those boxes. And that one has also been chemically treated and disassembled, correct? Yes, it has. Other than that, is it in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. All right. And with regard to these items that we've had marked for identification purposes 614 through 619, were these also given to Detective Padilla, the scribe? Yes, they were. Your Honor, I move that 614 through 619 be admitted into evidence, as well as the bag which contains these exhibits, which is 836. Submitted. They're admitted. We're almost there. Off the record discussion held at council table. All right, Your Honor. At this time I've had marked for identification purposes a bag, a brown bag, with, again, a sheriff's evidence tag with the number, number 366 at the top. And the number here is 837. And from inside of that bag I've withdrawn two exhibits. One is a magazine. And its identification is 620 for identification. The title is, Eden, E-D-E-N, and the exhibit number 621 is, The Nudist, I've had marked for identification purposes. And then lastly, and I've shown those to counsel for his examination. And lastly, I have a brown bag, again with a sheriff's evidence tag on it, with the number, 359 in black in the upper right-hand corner. Inside the bag I've withdrawn the contents and shown to counsel a book called, Poo Kai, P-O-O-C-H-I. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly but that's as good as it gets. And may I approach again, with your permission? Yes. Okay. Now, with regard to the exhibit 837, that's the brown bag, okay? We have 620 and 621. So let me ask you the questions. 620, where did you find it? I found this within one of the boxes. And is it in the same condition today as when you first found it? Yes. This one hasn't been treated or disassembled, correct? Correct. All right. And then 621, where did you find that? Within one of the boxes. And with regard to 621, is it in the same condition as when you first saw it? Yes. Now, with regard to 620 and 621, did you give those also to Detective Padilla? Yes, I did. All right. If I can have those back. And these are in the same condition as when you first seized them? Yes. If I didn't ask you, where did you seize these two items, 620 and 621, from? They were from within one of the boxes. And lastly, 538, sick. I'm taking out of the bag a book and handing it to you, the contents of 538, sick. Do you recognize that book? 
May I look at that? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Do you recall where that item was the first time you saw it? Yes, I do. Where? This was located in a bookcase that is on the far wall of the den area. Okay, I'm going to come back up and show you Exhibit 90. Do you recognize the area where you found Exhibit 838? Yes. All right, would you put an arrow to it? And would you just write 838 up there? I think you'd earlier called that 538. Am I correct? The book, Your Honor? It's 838. He misspoke. I misspoke? I'm sorry. I just want the record to reflect that when you said 538, you meant 838. I did, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. For the record, on Exhibit 90 you put a red arrow and an 838 to the right of the red arrow, is that correct? I did. And that is the location where you found Exhibit 838? Yes. And is that exhibit in the same condition as to when you found it? Yes. On November 18th? Yes, it is. Did you also give that to Detective Padilla? Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Move that item 837 and the contents, which are 620 and 621, and 838 and the contents, be admitted into evidence, Your Honor. Submitted, Your Honor. They're admitted. I believe that's it. No further questions. Mr. Sanger? Thank you, Your Honor. Detective Williams, how are you? Fine, thank you. You. And you're retired, correct? Yes. May I still call you, detective? Is that okay? I'm happy with it. When did you retire exactly? You said that, and I missed it. February of last year. February of? 2004. 2004, okay. You were active duty and still working actively for the sheriff's department in November of 2003, is that correct? Yes. All right, now, Detective Williams, I think you said you've been a sheriff's officer for 29 years, is that right? Yes. Okay, and in fact, if I'm not mistaken, you were one of the first two female officers in the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department, is that correct? No. Okay, close to it, in any event? Close. There's a story behind there that I haven't got quite right, but in any event, you have a long career with the Sheriff's Department, is that right? Yes. And you have been a detective for how long? I was a detective two different periods. The last time in Coastal Station, which was 10 years. And then prior to that, it was at the main station, which was for 9 years. Okay. And part of what you did as a detective was specialize in sex crimes, is that right? Yes. All right. So you have a great deal of experience being the lead detective in sex offenses, is that right? I have some experience, yes. Well, when you say, some, are you being modest? You've had quite a number of cases where you've been the lead officer. Yes. In sex cases, correct? Yes. All right, and in this particular case, your assignment was to assist on one of the searches that was occurring on November 18, 2003, is that correct? Yes. And you were then, you were then not asked to do anything else. You were given no other assignments in this case, is that correct? That's correct. Now, if I understand what you did, you focused your attention on that first floor. And could I have the exhibits? I'd like 590, if you have it there. It's up there. Oh, it's up there? May I approach to retrieve it? Yes. May I put this back up on the screen, Your Honor? Now, you've already told us that this is the first floor. But just so we're oriented, for people who are not oriented already, the boxes of books that you referred to under the arrow are to the right of a television, large screen TV console. Is that correct? Yes, it is. All right, and there's additional, an additional part of the room to the left on this picture that you can't see in the picture. Is that correct? Yes. And did you search that entire area? Yes. Behind the piano, in fact, do you have the pointer there still? Okay, would you be kind enough to point to the piano? Okay, by the way, on the piano, was there a letter from Steven Spielberg sitting there? Object as immaterial, your honor. 
Overruled. You may answer. I don't remember. All right. Behind the piano that you just pointed to is an alcove area, is that correct? Yes. Can you point to that? And there are quite a number of books in that area as well, correct? Yes. And that's where you found 838, is that right? Yes. Most of the books in that area are art books, is that correct? Or art and entertainment kind of books? I believe so. I don't remember exactly, but I believe there were quite a number of those. All right. And then on the, where you've drawn the other arrow to the boxes, and you indicated you found the other exhibits that you've talked about today, there are. There were a number of boxes there, is that correct? Yes. You don't know whether those boxes were coming or going or had been sitting there, do you? Correct. You don't know whether or not Mr. Jackson had even looked inside those boxes, do you? Correct. All right. Now, Mr. Jackson is an artist, is that correct? A performer? He's a performer, yes. And he's an artist. He writes and composes music and choreographs dance, that sort of thing, is that correct? I'm going to object as immaterial, lack of foundation. Overruled. You may answer. Is that correct? Yes. And you saw a tremendous number of books that pertain to that sort of thing, art and dance and entertainment, music, correct? I remember seeing books of that nature, yes. Do you know if people send books to Mr. Jackson? Object. Calls for speculation. It's a, yes, or, no, your honor. Yes, you may answer, yes, or, no. I don't know if people send him books. All right, now, of all of the books that you have identified, and I'm not going to go through by number here. But out of all of the books that you've identified, there are no books in that group that are unlawful for an adult to purchase, is that correct? I don't think there are. All right, and none of those books are unlawful for an adult to possess in his home, is that correct? I believe you're correct. You mentioned that. Let's put it this way. You saw a number of these books. Let me see if I can take them out, here. Are you through with the picture up there? Yes, your honor. And then I'll, thank you. I'll just refer you for the moment to exhibit. The bag is 835 and the contents are 598 and following. Do you remember those magazines? Would you like me to bring them to you? I remember them basically, yes. Okay. These magazines are, I think you said, from 1931, is that correct? They're from different years, 1935, 37, that era. That's true, actually. These are from 1935. And the title of the publication is, The Nudist, is that correct? Yes. These appear to be collector's items, do they not? They could be. All right, and you have no information as to whether or not Mr. Jackson even knew that they were in the box, is that correct? Object. It calls for speculation. I was going to say she could answer, yes, or, no. But anybody have ever said that to has never answered, yes, or, no. To the witness. Don't answer that, yes, or, no. Laughter. But I should answer? Yes. So, may I ask what the question was again, please? I think his honor is kidding with you. You can answer, yes, or, no. Do you have any information as to whether or not Mr. Jackson ever saw these nudist magazines? I don't have any information that he did or did not see them. Laughter. There you go. Someone following my instructions. Now, in the part of Mr. Jackson's house that you searched, do you know how many books were there total? No, I do not. Were there thousands? There were many books. Okay, at least hundreds? Yes. All right, and you went to some other places in the residence other than that particular room, did you not? Yes. What other places did you go to? The second story, a pantry-like room, a large room with multiple games and toys, and two bedrooms. All right, and you saw books elsewhere in the house besides where you were searching here in this room, is that correct? Some books. Did you, in order get to that room, you had to walk down a hallway, right? To the den area, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. And that hallway was lined, floor to ceiling with bookshelves filled with books, is that correct? I don't remember. Okay, 
That's fair enough. And there was a library just off of that hallway as well. Did you take a look in that library? No. Okay. Now, you said you did go upstairs, because you went into Mr. Jackson's son's room, is that right? Yes. And right up there by his son's room is an alcove that is filled with children's books, is that correct? Yes. All right. And again, there are hundreds of books up there, is that right? Yes. Did you have occasion to go to the arcade where there is a room that is basically filled with books? Are you talking the same room that's the second story of the main residence? No, it's a different building. The arcade building. I did not go there. All right. Of all the books that you saw, you seized the ones that you felt might be of some evidentiary value based on what you understood this case to be about. Is that correct? Yes. All right. I'm going to ask you to take a look at 599 and see if we can. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes. I'm going to show you 599. That appears to be a book of photographs that were taken some time ago, is that correct? May I look through it? Yes, please. They appear to be old photographs? They look like they could be old photographs. They have the sepia tone into them. All right, and you said that as far as you know, there's nothing illegal about an adult possessing that book in the United States, or in California, let's say. Yes. The United States in general, okay. Were you aware that that particular author, that photographer, was prosecuted and acquitted during the Nazi regime prior to World War II for those very photographs? Your Honor, I'm going to object as immaterial. Sustained. Let's put it this way. As you look at that, that appears to be a historic book, a book of recording historic photographs, is that correct? I don't know what you mean by that. All right, did you do any research as to any of the authors of any of these books? No. All right. So in other words, that day you were there, your job was to look at things and see if they appeared to be within the search warrant and you seized them? Yes. All right. All right. Let me show you. Let me ask you. Before I show you something else, you seized some other things that have not been introduced into evidence here. Is that correct? Yes. All right. You seized some paperwork from Mr. Jackson's son's room. Is that right? I believe so. Okay, and you seized some other things. You seized a Christmas invitation from Liza Minnelli, is that correct? Yes. All right, now, I'm also going to show you Exhibit 838. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes. And I'll take this back, if I may. That's 838. Before I ask you about it, your procedure in searching through all these books and boxes and things was to, was to find books that, by their cover, looked like they would warrant some further interest on your part, right? Usually I would open up the books to try to see what was inside also. Okay, but you didn't flip through every single book in that room? No. All right, so first of all, you'd look at something that looked like it might be a book that had something to do with sex. Is that pretty much what you were looking for? Yes. All right, and then once you found that book, you would look through it and see if you felt that it was the type of book that you thought should be seized in this case, correct? Yes. All right, and you've indicated you seized some other items besides that, but when it came to these books that related to some sexual topic, you would actually look in them and make a determination that you should take it, correct? Yes. All right, now, on number 837. I'm sorry, what is that? 838, the bag 838. And inside the bag is the book, right? Yes. And you seized, have you looked inside the book? Yes. Okay, now, again, you're an experienced sex crimes detective, correct? Yes. So you're not shocked by seeing pictures of the human body, is that right? I can still be shocked. Okay, were you shocked by that book that's called Pukai, P-O-O-C-H-I? Yes. And you described it as, if I get your exact, do you recall how you described it? How I described it? Yes. Did you describe it as a book containing photographs of the female groin area? I may have. I'm not sure if I did or if that's the way Detective Padilla understood what I said. All right. Well, did you say something like that to him? Probably. And does that appear to be what you described to him? Well, some of it looks like it, yes. Okay, 
So the question is, is that pretty much what you told Detective Padilla? That you have a book that appears to be photographs of the female groin area? Probably. All right. And, Detective, as you look at that a little more carefully, those are pictures of armpits and other bodily folds, that are not from genital areas, that are made to look like that as a spoof of some sort. Is that correct? Some of them could be. And some of them I don't know. All right. And once again, there's nothing illegal about owning that book, is there? Not that I'm aware. And you don't know if Mr. Jackson even ever saw that before, do you? I do not know. Okay, thank you. I have no further questions. No questions. All right, thank you. You're excused. Thank you. We'll take our recess. Remember, tomorrow's a half day. See you tomorrow at 8.30.